Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video we're going to uh, learn how to create uh, or just a texture a ball and make it into an earth. Uh, this is actually just useful for a lot of equirectangular textures. Um, it's those textures that are spherical projected but they look flat or they are flat when they are taken the picture of. And so we're going to learn how to use those and create something that's not flat in 3D space. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So open up uh, a new file in Blender and get rid of the cube and int uh, import a UV sphere. So I just hit Shift A, Add Mesh UV sphere. And then I'm just going to, because Earth's um, are pretty smooth, or at least I picture them. At least in the pictures you see the, I guess it's the atmosphere that creates that, but uh, we're just going to create a subdivision surface on here and shade it smooth. Just so that it's really smooth for what we're doing. Um, now we're going to start putting in our texture. So I just cr split our screen, and if you don't know how to do that, you can hold down, there's like a little uh, it's not very good in Blender 2.8. They used to have little lines there, and you can do that. If you just go in the very corner of one of these screens, you can click there, and there's an imaginary button you can drag. So set up your your viewport like this, where you have three different windows open, and you can leave this one. This is going to be the one that we look at and see what's going on. This one we're going to change by clicking up here and click on the image editor and this one is going to be the shader editor. Now click new on here and scroll in. I'm just going to position it like this. Something like that. And then hit shift A while your mouse is down here. Shift A and then I just like to type things in so you can do an image texture. That's how you do a normal one. Uh, but we're not going to do that with this one. We're going to be doing um, uh, an, en an environment texture. And I'm just going to put it right here. Hit open and go in here and click on the uh, link to the texture, and I will have a link uh, to the uh, to the texture in the description. You can go ahead and click on it. And it's just going to link to my website. So, yeah, uh, and then just drag it on there. Now you are not going to see much happen up here, but let's just go and change our render engine. Actually, no, we don't need to do that. That's this is what I meant to do. Go up here. If you need to scroll it over, just middle mouse click and drag, and then click on the rendered one. And honestly, that's as easy as it gets. Uh, this is one of the easiest things to implement within Blender, and it's we're done. So I hope uh, that you've learned something in this video. There's a couple other things you can do. Uh, actually, maybe I will show these. I wasn't going to, but I think we have enough time. So first off, there's this thing called the hue saturation one uh, node that we can connect our color into, and then we can throw the color into the uh, specular and roughness, something like this, and it will tell uh, Blender where to be more specular and where not to be, and it really, you really can't see the difference right now. Uh, but the reason why we put this hue saturation value here is because we can we can take down the saturation, so it'll be black and white now, just to show you what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to throw that into the color. So we're, we just changed this to be black and white. And then let's now throw in, uh, I don't know, a brightness contrast. That's what it's called. And let's make it higher contrast. So we're pretty much just wanting to make the water shiny. So let's just get turn a lot of the water black. And then hit Shift A go to search and just click, do invert and let's invert these so now if you look at this it's just the opposite uh, black 
or y is generally what is going to be um, here though it's what's going to be specular or rough so the brighter it is the more it is of a of one of these so now we can just go back here put in our color here and we can now see oh uh, that I might have just told you wrong so we can just drag this factor down and now our water is shiny but our surface isn't uh, I hope this makes sense and I hope that you've learned something in this video uh, please subscribe like and do all that fun jazz and check out some more of my videos and we'll see you next time on blender know-how